I had a man He was oh so right for me Kind of sandy hair Eyes so soft and blue That you couldn't help but care When he looked at you He called me baby All the time When you're alone Who cares for starlit skies When you're alone The magic moonlight time What lonely hours Evening shadows bring What lonely hours With memories lingering Mr. Murdoch, yeah? There's a man in your office says he has to see you. Tell him to wait. He doesn't look like the patient type. He says it's important. Did you get his name? I didn't get his name, but his calling cards look good. Yeah. Has gone. What lonely hours the evening shadows bring. What lonely hours with memories lingering like faded flowers. right. Frank Dennison. Oh, yeah, you were in earlier. Yes, yes, I were. What can I do for you? Well, I'd hope to see Mrs. Malone. Oh, you know her? I knew her late husband in San Francisco. Well, uh, maybe I can help you. Yes, this is exactly what we need. Really? Mr. Murdoch, I want to buy this place. Well, it's not for sale. I still want to buy it. I'll tell you what. You figure out what would be a fair price in a going market. Stock, fixtures, goodwill, all of it. And you tack on 6%. That's quite an offer. We think so. How about it? Well, if it was up to me, I'd say no. But I guess I should talk to my partner. Mrs. Fallon. That's right. Well, you, uh, you have my card. I'd appreciate a call as soon as possible. Don't depend on it. You're getting more money on your investment than you can get at a bank. You think it over, huh? Oh, Mr. Uh, Dennison. You know, there's some things that 6% can't buy. No. Name three. Coffee? It's free. How was it? Mm. Okay. You're a doll. You were a gas. Good house. Prime rib crowd. The bar's done good, though. Well, at least they won't shut off the phones for a while. <laughs> I don't think so. Where'd you go? I missed you on the opening. Oh, I was out in the office. A fellow by the name of Dennison. He wants to buy the place. Guy from San Francisco? Yeah, you know him? Long time ago. Doesn't sound like he was a favorite. Malone didn't like him. He was a strong arm for gamblers. Oh. Well, evidently he's come into a lot of dough. He offered us a nice profit. Not for me. I wouldn't sell him fresh air. Okay, sweetie, I'll call him first thing in the morning. 
Is this a private conversation or may I butt in? I am. Is it up? How are you, Maggie? I'm sorry I missed your show. I'm sorry, too. Plenty of prime rib left. Let's get rid of them, huh? Just you and me. I know a lovely island in the South Seas. What about your wife and six kids? <laughs> they can row. Hiya, Sergeant. Did you make your quota of tickets today? I've got one left. Do you want it? <laughs> Is it a business or a pleasure call? Well, a little of both, Pete. You know a fellow called Dennison? Yeah, I met him tonight. Drop him. Why? Well, just stay away from him, that's all. I don't know what he's doing in town, but from what I got from San Francisco, he's going to do nothing but make a mess. I don't want to see you two stirred into it. Thanks. What do you know about him, Andy? Oh, he's small time. The rumble is he latched down to a bankroll. He and a couple of friends are down here trying to set up an operation. Why do you leave San Francisco? Well, I don't know for sure. The way I hear it, he lost a bundle to a guy from Kansas City and skipped out leaving a piece of bad paper. They looking for him? Well, it could be. The main thing is, I don't want his blood running all over our streets. Why don't you just buy him a plane ticket? Well, maybe in a couple of days we can do that. In the meantime, drop him, huh? Thanks for the time. There's more. You sure about that island, Maggie? I'm sure. All right. But don't come crying around to me later. Good night, big man. Good night, Andy. wonder what he'd do if you ever took him up on that. Run. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Well, I figured I might as well call Dennison tonight. Okay. Hello, Maggie. What do you want? Now, that's no way to greet an old friend. That's right, it isn't. Come a long way, Maggie. A long way indeed. Oh, uh, you mind? Tell me, Maggie, do you uh, miss San Francisco? I get up there once in a while. I heard about Johnny. That's a terrible thing. The world's a much sadder place. For a lot of people, you aren't one of them. Look, don't you think it's about time you tell me what you want? Just old times, man. Just old times. I, uh, thought we might have a little talk. Why do you want our place? I think it's a good investment. Oh, come on. You wouldn't buy a shroud unless you had a body in the closet. All right, Mickey, we want to open up here in Los Angeles. Gambling. That's right. You may have heard, I had a good thing going for me in San Francisco, but I had to shut the game down. Why? Several reasons. Could one of them be a guy from Kansas City? We've checked Los Angeles, Maggie. Your club's exactly what we need. Who's we? I have partners. So have I. Well, you could turn a neat profit if you sold. I'd have trouble spending the money. You're still an idealist, huh? That's the way Johnny taught me. Well, Johnny's dead, Maggie. Not for me. Oh, well, you think it over and call me in a few days. No need to. I can give you the answer right now. Think it over, Maggie. Times have changed since Johnny was in business. We have new methods of getting what we want. New ways, legal ways. Look, the law works both ways. You try to open up here in L.A. and the cops will close you down before you can open the seal on a deck of cards. Maggie, there's a situation in San Francisco that you might find interesting. A friend of mine wanted to buy a restaurant. The owners didn't want to sell. Well, it turned out my friend didn't have to worry after all. Those people had such a run of tough luck. Well, in no time at all, the place was closed and my friend bought it for the price of the fixtures. We got new ways, Maggie. You stay away from me. Don't you book any private parties, you hear? I wouldn't want them to interfere with the ones I'm planning. Let there be. 
there be you let there be me let there be oysters under the sea let there be wind and occasional rain chili con carne sparkling champagne let there be birds to sing in the trees someone to bless me whenever i sneeze let there be cuckoos a lock and a dove but first of all please let there be love let there be you let there be me oysters under the sea let there be wind and occasional rain chili con carne sparkling champagne let there be birds to sing in the trees someone to bless me whenever i sneeze let there be cuckoos a lark and a dove but first of all please 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 let there be All right, cut it out. Put that back. Maybe you want to take it, huh? I will if I have to. Now put it down. I'm a police officer, son. You're going to get hurt if you don't put that bottle down right away. Well, now who's going to hurt me? You? Put it down. Why don't you just come and get it? You take one more step, I'm going to cut you good. All right, back off, Pete. Take it easy, Andy. All right, take him into the office. Come on, son. All right, everybody, it's all over. Just a guy with too much to drink. Let's get back to enjoying ourselves. Go ahead, Maggie. Play something, will you, boys? All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, snap out of it. Who are you? Easy with him, Pete. Look, Sonny, I ask you a question. If you're going to be able to answer it all, you better start now. Wait a minute, Pete. Let me talk to him. What's your name, son? Pretty boy Floyd. Now, look, this can go a lot of ways. It depends on you. Let me see your identification. Okay, I tried. See you later, Pete. Uh... Jerry Allen. Your ID. See your badge. Any money in it? Some. Take it out. What do you do for a living? I go to school. Mm -hmm. You got a job? Nope. Where'd you get that hundred? Well, that's none of your business. Did you serve him anything? Well, I asked him to come up with a driver's license. Which one? You could be in trouble, Pete. This kid's underage. All right, we'll finish this talk downtown. Sure. I got nothing to worry about. Oh, uh, you gonna close this place? Why? Just want to know, that's all. Tell me something. Can I sue him? What for? For hitting me. Yeah, I, I think I want to sue him for everything he owns. For hitting a kid. Why don't you knock it off, Sonny? You got all the trouble you can handle now. Not me, mister. I'm all set up. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, really. As soon as we get to that station, there'll be a lawyer right there with a the bail. You see, that's all promised. By who? By my friend, Frank Dennison.
Michael? What do you want? Your neck. You'd better get out of here, Murdoch. Your boy was in the club tonight, Dennison. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a liar. He left it laying right at your feet. Now you listen to me, Murdoch. I'll make you... it for you real simple. You stay away from me and stay away from my club. I've had it right up to the top with you. What about Mrs. Malone? <coughs> you even think about her and I'll tear your brain out. Michael, you... You see the gentleman to his car. Just a minute. Who is it? Dennison, huh? Stay out of this, Maggie. How about if I stop breathing, too, huh? No, I wouldn't like that. Andy wants to see you. Why? He wants Dennison. It won't do any good. It wasn't Dennison. It was one of his strong-arm boys. By now, you'll be in a room with 30 people who swear he never even left the room. Well, he wants to talk to you anyway. I'm sorry. Maggie. Stay out of this. I don't want to see you get hurt. Everything's going to be all right. I'll be back. been just about out of our skulls. I had to go out of town. Well, you could have told us Maggie's about nuts with worry. I'm sorry. What are you, nut or something? The hospital didn't know where you were. Nobody knew. Business pretty good, huh? Yeah, yeah, business pretty good. Better check the office. Hey, uh, boy. Boy. You better go talk to Maggie. Why? You just better go talk to Maggie, that's all. Where is she? I'll go get her. I said, where is she? She's in the office. Where you were, I called everybody. Was out of town, honey. Hey. What's this? Pete, it's all set up. Dennison, huh? Well, let me tell you about it. You don't need words, Maggie. You sold us out. Will you shut up and let me explain it to you? There's not much you can say that I want to hear. It was Andy's idea. I leased the office to Dennison. Twice a week. Tonight's set up for the first game. That makes a big difference, huh? Well, there won't be a second game. The minute the money's on the table, the cops will be in here. Oh, that's just great. We got all the trouble we need right now with our liquor license. What do you think this is going to prove? All right, so you pick up Dennison. Then what happens? He'll pay a fine and be out walking the street within an hour. Then what, Maggie? We go round and round again. Why don't you listen to Andy? No, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell my piece of the place to Andy. Then you and him can be partners. How about it? Sweetie, will you listen to me? Back off. Let the men handle it. If Dennison's going to be stopped, he's going to be stopped good. Well, what have you done about it? Just like I told you. I took care of it. Come in. Hi, Andy. They said you were back. Yeah, there's some things I want to talk to you about. They can wait. Where have you been? 
Out of town. Where? I took a plane trip to visit some old friends. That against the law? What's the matter, Andy? I want to talk to Pete, Maggie. Don't you think I have a right to know what's going on? Maggie. Like outside, huh? Why don't you two read the lease? Has my name on it, too, you know. What's on your mind, Andy? Dennison. He's dead. I suppose I'm expected to say I'm sorry, but I'm not going to lie to you, Andy. How'd it happen? They found him in West Hollywood. Somebody opened him up with a shotgun. They find out who did it? Yeah. Guy from Kansas City. Picked up at the scene. It's too bad. Or who? The guy from Kansas City. According to what they say, somebody was nosing around San Francisco and dropped the word Denison's in Los Angeles. That somebody wasn't you, was it, Pete? Yeah. But I didn't figure it to happen this way. Just how did you figure it? Took a trip to San Francisco to see if I could dig up something on Dennis. A lot of people up there will talk to me when they won't talk to the local cops. And you, uh, you didn't mean to nail Dennison, huh? No. And that's the truth, Andy. Okay, Pete. The captain wants to see you anyhow. Tomorrow, huh? Sure. You'll tell Maggie. Yeah, sure. the day, lonely through the night, lonely, lonely hours without that man I held so tight. Lord, do this for me, say I love him so. You think she'll ever leave here? Without her, there wouldn't be any here. Try to let him know I'll be his baby. Baby, all the time.